Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here having my coffee with all of you. I've already done all my chores this morning, and Papa just came in from running around. Um, today I want to make some tea. I want to gather some honeysuckle, because I'm going to make honeysuckle syrup again. And I already did a video on it, I'll, I'll uh, leave a link somewhere <laughs> so you can find it easily. Um, honeysuckle syrup is delicious. And have a look around the garden. I've got to make a dust bath for Miss Beauty because she needs it. She wants it. Uh, and who knows what else. I got me a whole quart of honeysuckle flowers. And this year, I was a little bit more careful with how I harvested them. I didn't take off leaves. I kind of just pinched the flowers. And they come off in twos, kind of like this. And they've got some leaves at the bottom. So I just pinch at the very bottom. And they both come off at the same time. I wanted to harvest mostly white ones because they're the freshest, but if uh, these flowers come in twos, if one of them was slightly pale yellow, I went ahead and picked it, and I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to get this all out here right now because I think there might be some bugs in it and let the bugs crawl out, get any of the last green leaves out, and then get to starting on my syrup. I'm going to do it a little bit differently this year. I got most of the leaves out. If there's a couple left in there, not a big deal. So I'm just going to stuff this back into the jar and get it all filled up again. And fill the jar up with some nice filtered water all the way to the top. I actually forgot to do something. You're supposed to kind of bruise the honeysuckle a little bit before you put it in the jar. So I'm just going to kind of push it down a little bit and bruise it this way. I think it'll still work. I didn't do the, I didn't do this last year. It's just something I read and it makes sense. So I'm just going to kind of push this down for a little bit and then put the lid on it and just put them out here in the sun. Yeah, those two, they are uh, peppermint lemon balm tea. I put them out there right before I started looking for all that stuff. It was cold water and now it's kinda hot. It's pretty warm water in there. So I'm just gonna let the sun do its work. So this is cold now. It'll warm up and then I'll do the rest of the process with that a little bit later. This little garden bed doing? Well, it's doing great. There's beans there. There's beans there. And there's beans there, so I don't know if they'll grow and actually give me beans, but if they do, it'll be awesome because they'll grow all the way up this trellis. And beans are coming up in this little bed that I made, that I augmented. Yes, beans there, beans there. Yep, there's one more beans there, so I'm going to throw some water on them because these look a little bit dry. See that there? That's the second half of the chicken little hutch booter thingy that I got in the back of the van. I'm going to clean this up and I've got another idea for it. I uh, may show it in another video. I may show it in this one. Not sure yet. I've got those flying over my head a couple times a week. Very low, very slow. Weird. But there's the little dust bath that I made. I had made that frame previously. It's not very even, but I know Beauty has been in it several times. I just uh, kind of dug up some of the soil. I put more very dry clay sand sort of soil in it. I put some wood ash in it and some diatomaceous earth. And she's been in it a couple times. Yes, yes she has. I should just put up a sign on the roof or something that I have a YouTube channel. You can come and watch me whenever you want to. I show everything. I do everything on my property. So it's weird. They, they just come down and they go slow and they fly very, very low. But whatever. I ain't got nothing to hide. Last of the things that hadn't come up yet are coming up. Yep, the yellow summer squash in every single spot, I've got them coming up. So that's wonderful. Yeah, I haven't watered yet today. It's supposed to rain tonight. I watered a couple times yesterday, so I'm thinking that I can just hold off because 
those two barrels are empty. That one's almost empty. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, I've started the beginning of a trellis thingy. Um, just sticks. Just poked them down in there. I figured it'd be better to get that going now. And everything in this bed is looking just absolutely amazing. This gets the most sun. So, of course, these started, except for the squash and the green beans, started from live plants. Um, this bed's doing pretty good. These are all my little seedlings that I did, except for the squash. Yep, I'm going to have to start thinning them out. Um, this one is not doing as well. These are all peppers, but I think they'll catch up eventually. And it won't be that much longer until... Well, not to plant the beans yet, but I could probably, what are you doing, chicken? I could probably go ahead and start thinning these out. I think I'm going to wait another day, just to be sure. And, uh, yeah, just one, one corn plant per spot. Well, I changed my mind on one of the jars of tea. With one of them, with the lemon balm and peppermint in it, I decided to add more to it and make some organic <laughs> DIY bug spray. I'll leave a link down below to the video where I initially made it. It worked really well. Although the bugs aren't as bad this time of the year, I mean like right now as they were last year, because I've been trying to prevent, you know, standing water. I put them in the barrels that have the screens over the top. But um, I, I figured, yeah, I, I need a bug spray because they're still gonna be around. There is one body of water, though, that is going to collect, and I, I've already seen it down in the bottom, collect mosquitoes. There's been mosquito larvae swimming all over it, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This right here, this little pond that I've dug, yeah, it looks pretty gross, but the chickens, they drink out of it. It's crazy. But there have been a ton of mosquito larvae in there, but... If you look, there are tadpoles. You know how I got tons and tons of frogs? There are tadpoles. And now, I cannot see any mosquito larvae down there. You know why? Because the tadpoles eat them. So I'm going to make sure that this stays filled with water. In fact, I'm going to go get some water right now and just add a little bit to it even though it's going to rain a little bit tonight i don't think oh, i don't know i'm just going to wait i'm just going to wait and see how much this gets filled up with the rain later on this evening and overnight and if it looks like it's starting to dry up i'm going to go ahead and put some more water in here because the chickens this is a great place for them to stop and get a little drink of water and then the tadpoles eat the algae and the mosquito larva. So, yeah, I think this pond is going to stay. Eventually, I'd like to dig it deeper, but right now I'm not going to disturb it because, well, I got critters. I got critters floating around in there, swimming around, happily eating. Oh, yep, there's a frog right down there. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, these two things, they're pretty warm. This is real warm. This is hot. This is warm. I think I'm going to let them sit out another day. Um, because it's, it really wasn't as hot today as it was yesterday. And I wasn't good with keeping them in the sun. So I'm just going to let them keep steeping. That way I don't have to use my own, you know, propane type energy to heat the jars up. Or heat the fluid up in the jars. So yeah, these will go for another day. And here are the other herbs. I did go ahead and add some thyme, some rosemary to it, more lemon balm, more peppermint. So the last time I did this, I let it steep six hours. I'm just going to let it go overnight and then uh, put it in a spray bottle tomorrow. It's been a very tranquil day today. I've had a nice day. It did get a little warm, but not like 92 degrees or anything like that. So just kind of piddled around and uh, brainstormed some things, and I'm very pleased with the way my garden is going. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.